transition. It's not a million miles r removed from sustainability because a gate built 250 years ago is still operational in Uri today because it's made of iron and that's, that is sustainable. And we're having a forging, or I'm not, but James's people, his Blacksmiths Association, in association with the uh, Newry Maritime Association, a forging at uh, Ballinalis Ballin in Camlock this weekend. And it's, it's, it's yet another outreach from the Maritime Association, James. Tell me what the thinking is behind it. Well, you've just encapsulated it, Rowan. It's an outreach. Uh, in the Maritime Group, we are doing our best to broaden the base with other local voluntary community groups. Uh, and the Irish Artist Blacksmith Association, IABA, you spoke to, to we had the Jared, boys yesterday. Jared Loggan yep. and Megan yep. Mullen yesterday. Yep. And, um, you know, their creativity, uh, you know, shines through. And... The blacksmiths were such an important part of the story of the port and the canal. I mean, Mickey started his working career in Jack McCullough's. On just which the key people, where P&R motors are People today. would know it as P&R today. Yeah. Mm. And Mickey started there at 14 years of age. And he talks about the work that they did for the Harbour Trust. Mm. And one of the first jobs that he did and that he, that he looks at regularly is the gates to Sands' mill mm. on New Street. Mm. And if you go around and look at them, I mean, they're, they're probably 25 foot high. Mm. And he talks about them being carried round by a team of men Jesus. to New Street. <laughs> but anyway, um, when uh, Mickey w works closely with us, and as you know, he did the memorial at the locks this the year, the alder. Yes, yes. And he was very much involved in Fisher Park mm. refurbishing the anchor. And uh, he came up with the idea of um, when the forge in, which, by the way, to just explain to the viewers, it's a gathering of blacksmiths, master craftsmen from all over the island of Ireland who are coming to George Forge and they are going to make a bespoke piece of, of wrought iron furniture, an old uh, wrought iron bench, something rowing of the calibre that you would have seen on an English seafront. Yes. With the Scott. curved, the curved yes. back yeah. and the heavy feet, yeah. etc. And they're going to make this to commemorate the memory of an iconic uh, Newry Mariner Captain Harry Hollywood, who wow. was known as Wee Harry, yeah. lived down the Omeath Road. What boats did he sail out on? Well, Harry was a fisher's man all his life. Yeah. And he started his career at 14 years of age, Rowan, in 1890. He retired, and I've heard you extol many times uh, about being a septuagenarian and, and oh, still yes. working. Absolutely. Thank God. Well... Uh, you're, you're running Harry close, but you, <laughs> you, you have a while to go yet. But you see, I might succeed in coming up on him because I too was a great lover of the ocean. Well, he, he worked until 1953 when he retired, aged 78, but unfortunately died in 54. Yeah. But he worked for almost 64 years, an incredible tenure. Mm. So uh, the boys are making this a wrought iron seat in memory of Captain Hollywood. Mm. It will have a ship's wheel on yes, the back. Yep. Uh, we had hoped to put his name on it, but due to council policy uh, about naming uh, artefacts, etc., we can't do that. Well, that's madness. So let's, they should immediately change the policy. Well, we'll see how we get on. You but, have to be diplomatic. I don't. But, change the policy. But what we, <laughs> what we hope to do, Rowan, is uh, have it incorporated into this phase of the yeah. public realm scheme. Yeah. Excellent. That's and, uh, so, 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 so very, very good indeed. Come, come Sunday evening, uh, this is a two-day event. Yeah. Uh, the boys are starting tomorrow morning. We have the mirror coming at 12 o'clock uh, and then they'll work to about half six. They'll have an evening meal uh, in Kilevi Foresters yes. and 
I'll be giving them a presentation on the background to Captain Hollywood yes. and the canal in an effort to galvanise an affinity with what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than they're just making a seat. Yeah. They'll know exactly. Yeah. They're the sort of men, you're right, they're the sort of men who put heart and soul into the work. Yes. Because when you're, when you have a fire lit in a forge and you're thrusting the metal in and bringing it to white hot temperatures and beating the stuff, beating it and then, and then tempering it in the water, these are men of heart and soul. And it'll be so important for them to be aware of that provenance of, of Harry Hollywood. That's right. You know, and, and it creates a bond. Uh, they have a knowledge. And it's so important, I feel, to the background for the whole thing. Yeah. So then on Sunday, uh, they'll finish it off and uh, we'll have the finished item. Uh, courtesy of uh, Destination Yuri, yourselves, uh, it's going to be filmed. Sean, Sean will be up on Saturday and Sunday and we'll have it and here on Monday morning. We'll have it for the show on Monday morning. Absolutely. And the viewers in our global village will be able to see exactly what has been created. How lovely of you to use the term global village, especially off the back of our sustainability piece that we did earlier. And that's the thing about blacksmithery. When a blacksmith made something, it lasted, if not forever. I used to think forests lasted mm. forever. They don't. I used to think granite was indestructible. It isn't. It's worn away. It's eroded in the morns. You see it all the time. Mm -hmm. I used to think iron was... It's not. But as, as, as long as it can be, there's several hundred years there, and then the blacksmith comes again mm. and does his work of, of moulding and forging. It's all huge. Well, Rowan, I have to say that, uh, you know, here uh, with yourself and uh, with Destination Yuri, there's a great platform for all types of voluntary community groups. Very much so. Uh, and artistic groups get a great chance to project their particular, uh, their particular mm -hmm. realm, mm -hmm. um, be it Kate O'Hanlon or mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. you know. It's all uh, there. It's all there. Now, you spoke about the durability of the blacksmiths. And a few weeks ago, we touched on, you asked me about the flagstaff. Yes. You discovered and, the origin. And we're pleased to tell you that yesterday, <laughs> Mickey collected the old flagstaff pole from Paddy Lundy's house at the flagstaff. We left it uh, to be shot blasted and uh, painted. But there's a piece missing off it. Uh, there's about 10 feet that Mickey's going to add on, and then we'll recite it. And we'll, and we'll have a ceremony. <laughs> and I'll get you some pictures for Monday. Uh, you were saying about, again, about uh, how the products lasted. The gates that I told you about on Eddie Quinn's farm in Fadham have been completely refurbished. Yes. They're ready when we get the go-ahead to be installed on the clog roundabout. Yes. Just. 50 metres from where they were made 120 years ago. My God. And the man's name, Tommy Connolly, T. Connolly, is branded into the gates. So we'll have some photographs of that for, for you Monday. and the viewers for so Monday. In the meantime, in Ballinalis, when uh, that's tomorrow, Saturday, what time should people go there for? People can come from tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Uh, there'll be direction signs from the clog roundabout. And it's literally a five, six minute car journey from the clog roundabout. Okay, be there, enjoy it. And we can now show the people a little bit, finally show people a little bit of the work of the blacksmith uh, in, in the film clip we've now got. In, in James, the thank you for coming in. God bless you. Thank Go you. Well. Thank Take you, Ron. Thank you.